With this content module, we can update the hover color and the arrow, of course, the text and the link can be changed. Let's show you how to do that. So first of all, the call to action, let's open that. There you can change the text if you want. And then we can change under design, we can change the headline color. I'm just gonna change it to a green here. Yeah. There's a body text which you can change as well. Let's leave that the same for now. And uh, then there's a button. Yes, you can do the buttons there as well. Let's go a bit further up, see if there's anything else. And the advanced, uh, nothing that needs to be changed here. So we can do a quick preview. That's changed. There we go. So we can close this up, click save. There's a divider if you want to change the divider color. That's also, again, quite simple. Make it lighter, make it a light green, for example, and then do a quick preview. There we go, very simple. And let's save and exit. And then there's a continue exploring link. You'll see there's a link there, just update that one. These are quite self-explanatory, so we don't need to go further on that. Let's go with this different module here. This is the one that changes color on hover. So we've got the front part and then also we have the back part and the divider. Uh, to change the back part, which is the hover color, uh, that we need to go to the custom CSS files. Let's just quickly look at the front here. Let's look at design. So you want to stick with this format. Uh, so it's light color on to begin with and then a dark color on hover. Uh, so we'll leave this the same. If we're gonna do that, we wanna take a dark color there. And that's about it for this one. Let's look in advanced, nothing there. In quick preview. So, yep, that's green. And now to change the rest, we need to go to the master CSS file it's this one over here, master color changes CSS. Um, we've got the two box arrow hover content. That's the name of the unit that we are on. You'll see we've got uh, arrow color, content hover color, and the box hover color. This is essentially the same as this one at the top here. So I'm just gonna follow this format. This was from the previous one that I've done. Um, we're gonna do that color there. And we're going to do the same for this one over here. That's for the content hover color. And then the box color, you want to keep that dark. So we'll do the same here. I'm going to paste that in there. And then you can just copy this text. And we're going to paste this rule into the custom CSS box for this page, page specific. Then we can hit the update button and then let's reload and have a look here we go well you can see it's looking very nice so that's how you update this one thanks for watching